so yesterday I last night I did a YouTube live and I mostly did this because I wanted to speak on the Catholic Church I wanted to you know I've been getting some critics come in um, against me which obviously you know I kind of expect that um, but for me it's not always easy to sit and you know read all the comments answer them individually which I do try to do because I do believe that it's very important it's just that when you seem to you know when you go through when you start repeating yourself over and over again and you start you know finding yourself saying the same thing and you just seem to be getting absolutely nowhere um, you know you kind of in your mind you reach a dead end but in theirs they just want to continue to argue with you um you know and they become you, you know almost insulting um you know they instead of letting scriptures answer scripture they they can they sort of get a bit you know insulting and um and things like that so you know so i wanted to just answer everything in one and i did a live because i also wanted the opportunity for people to you know to talk to people and ask you know questions and things like that but to be honest with you it was a little bit chaotic um yesterday uh, like there was just so much going on at the hostel that as, as through my best attempt it's just it was too chaotic in the end there were, you know it was a, a party going on downstairs and then there was music playing in the background there was you know and so i figured that you know what i deleted that and i thought that i'm going to take an opportunity again at some point in the future not um you know i'm not going to be able to do it in the next few days i'm going to be extremely busy but you know as soon as i get an opportunity and the lord gives me the grace to be able to speak on these things and i will um you know i had a comment though that i want to just quickly answer um um they will know who they are but they was basically saying you know that the again the catholic church wrote the bible if you caught my live yesterday you will um know that I do not um, act at all, I will never agree to that, that I do not believe that. Um, I believe that, you know, there was um, debates going on among the church for a very long time before it was decided which books would go into the canon. I believe God is the author of our Bible and that he's the reason that we have one. And if it had been up to the Catholic Church, we definitely wouldn't have one. And that Pope Damascus wanted the Bible in Latin and would actually, the popes would actually kill people for um, for trying to translate the Bible into English. They didn't want the common people to have one. So you really are deceived into believing that. But I also want to say that uh, Pope Damascus, um, he was the Bishop of Rome. He was not the Bishop of the other churches um, in and around the world. So uh, the Universal Bishop, unless, because uh, he was 382, so the Universal Bishops didn't take position till Pope Gregory. They say that they did because they trace their lineage back um, and they're able to do that because obviously they're in Rome whereas you know um, but there was no universal bishop. They was not in charge of all the others um, until the 5th century and it, it was by then it was already apostate. There would have been some churches obviously that you know some people within the churches I should say because it's not about the church you go to it's about the people um, who would be saved um, I've no doubt but um, by then Constantine and legalized Christianity turned it into a religion started inviting people to join the religion changing all the pagan idols into something to do with Jesus to entice them you know like Easter and Christmas they debated at the Council of Nicaea when they would celebrate Easter which is obviously should be obvious to everyone this should be at Passover there was a lot so you know they're deceived because the rome church are able to go back through the history and say you know we can trace our uh, succession back to peter um you would they wasn't in charge of all the others so there was always a church in rome but it became apostate when constantine legalized christianity um and then it got worse from there so you know you're deceived into thinking that that church is the one true church because the church in rome was just one part of it it was actually much bigger than that and it wasn't a universal roman catholic church so 
again, this is where the deception comes in. When a person comes to believe in Jesus, they receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, they are the church. So, um, for some reason, my phone is shaking. All right, let me try to keep still. Um, so they're the church. So it's about the people. You have to be born again. And it's not about being baptised, you know. Constantine thought that he could, you know, live his life in sin and then on his deathbed wash away an original sin and that might help him get to heaven. See, basing it on works, not trusting in Jesus and what he did. No, you can't be baptised. They said, Somebody wrote to me today and said that baptism saves. Um, no, it doesn't. If you read the book of Acts, you will see that first of all, like for the eunuch, the Enoch, sorry, uh, the eunuch, sorry. Um, the, first of all, he had to believe in Phil, uh, Jesus, and then Philip told him that he could be baptized. Uh, baptism is something that we do once we've come to faith in Jesus. We're dead in sin. Our hearts are made of stone. They need to be regenerated and made alive. When we come to believe, that's when he gives us a new heart, the Holy Spirit. We're regenerated. We're made new. Then we go on to have good works, having received the gift of the Holy Spirit. I urge people to read your Bibles um, and I will do another video as soon as I can with regards to everything. I want to include everything in this video. I, I have so much to say on the Catholic Church, you know, I know what they're about. I have studied them at length. I was even part of that church before the Lord saved me, um, you know, and most importantly, I read my Bible. And this guy said, you know, you basic, I said that we should test the early church fathers. Um, the writings, any writing from anybody. Um, I agree that Polycarp was, um, was he the student of John the Baptist, uh, sorry, the Apostle John and then Irenaeus came from then. No, I agree that these men were of God, but at the same time, some of them. But we were also warned to be careful and to watch out for false teachers. And so just because they were around then doesn't necessarily mean that they were saved. And so we have to test them against scripture. And they, you know, and they said that I'm applying the standard. It's not my standard, it's Jesus. Jesus was the one that referred back to it is written every time that Satan came to tempt him. Jesus is the one that referred to the scriptures every time that he was tested. Jesus is the one that rebuked the Pharisees for putting their traditions on par with the word of God. And Jesus is the one that said scripture cannot be broken. And God would never contradict himself. So if scripture cannot be broken, then that is our absolute authority because God would not change that. And so, you know... If something comes along and what they say and what the Bible say are two different things, who are we going to listen to, God or man? It's simple and yet people want to make it harder because the Catholic Church want to get away with their traditions and people want to defend that because they want to believe that what they believe is true. But they have to stop blindly defending their religion and start reading the Bible with open eyes so that they can see the deception that they're in and ask the Lord to save them. Jesus said, if you shall abide in my word, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. He didn't say, if you abide in my word, keep my traditions and listen to the Roman Catholic Church because they have free authorities. No, uh, they have the magisterium, the traditions and the Bible. No, he didn't say that. He said, abide in my word and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The Roman Catholic Church believe they're the ones that have the authority to interpret scripture. 1 John 5 refutes this when he says, you need no one teach you except the anointing that you received. It's the Holy Spirit in us that shows us the scriptures, illuminates um, the Bible for us. They are, honestly, I, my heart goes out to you because you have no idea what it means to be born again. You really don't and you are being deceived by your false religion and the devil is leading you astray right now and you're blind. So I am gonna be praying for you and I'm gonna do a study, um, a teaching as soon as I get an opportunity, um, when I have quiet time. I'm in Israel at the moment, I'm going to Tel Aviv today. Um, I'm gonna be out with a team there, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ later, um, which I'm you know, really looking forward to. Um, and obviously I have other things that I've got going on here as well. So I will, when I get an opportunity, um, you know, do, do, the, do the teaching, do it again. So if you call my live, then, you know, God bless you. Thank you for watching it. 
but if no then i just know that i will do a maybe it won't be a live maybe it'll just be a video i don't know it depends how the lord leads me at the time because i don't even know when i'm gonna do it but i will do my absolute best and i will use the church fathers as well i will include all of that i do have a lot of work that i have um from them um you know and all i can tell people in the meantime is keep reading the bible study everything you know and check out mike grendon as well because he's very good i um I have a couple of his teachings on my community page and also, you know, he's got a great testimony. He was a devout Catholic, 35 years, a devout Catholic. And then he opened up the word of God. He started reading it and the truth set him free. So he has amazing teachings on the Catholic Church. He does amazing work for the Lord um, in that regard. So check him out. Anyway, God bless you. I shall see you soon. And... Um, yeah, just keep me in your prayers and you're all in mine as well. God bless you. Bye.